Well, we're here at the Little Fox. Jim's been staying here for the last few days, and it's been a pleasure to have him. And the Little Fox house is unique because it's not an albergue. It's not on the Camino. In fact, it's deliberately off the Camino. The Camino de Santiago to Murcia is uh, a little bit under 10 kilometers from here. So why, why have I opened the Little Fox house? Well, it's not an albergue. As I said, it's actually my private house. It's not very big. I have room for three to five pilgrims here. But the main reason for the Little Fox House was because I believe, um, as a therapist and as a pilgrim, that people go home too soon. Uh, it's not a good idea to go into Santiago, hug the saint, get the Compostela, and then get on the plane and go home. Why? Because in many ways you've just been reborn. And as an infant, and you are an infant, you have to take care of yourself and get ready for the transition. Um, so this, this idea came to me when I walked my first Camino in 1999, I walked to Fistera in 2000, and there was, there was nothing in between uh, Santiago and Fistera. But it gave me that opportunity to, to, in many ways, to get off the Camino. This place is set up so that you can find a little corner, you can rest, you can relax, you can read, you can catch up with your diary. Um, I have Wi-Fi here so you can Skype your friends if you want to. Um, but most importantly, it's the chance to really disengage from the Camino. I call it a, a re-entry process. There have been lots of different expressions that are, that are used for it. But in many ways, it is an opportunity to, um, to leave behind some of the Camino while you're getting ready to, to, for the journey home. And uh, we have all the meals are included. We have communal meals um, with with wine and beer. And uh, but the most important thing is that the opportunity to to talk to other pilgrims. As a therapist, uh, if someone seeks me out and wants to talk to me, uh, wants to share some things, wants to get some direction as to what they're going to do when they go home, I'm certainly also available for that. So if you come to Murcia, or even if you don't, if you go to Santiago or Fistera, the only thing that I ask is that you do have a Compostela, um, um, but that's the most important thing. Other than that, welcome to the Little Fox House. Cordy or Cord? Cordy. I call him Cordy because Cordobes is a silly name for a dog. Get out of it, you. You behave yourself. <laughs> He's your one of your best friends I here. I love him. Okay, now we'll go out. Elisa. Oh, yes, breakfast. You like that? <laughs> go, my friend Gordy at the little fox house here. Look, I wonder if he likes it. Oh, yes. I think he likes that. He thought it was an apple, see? But he's very content now, isn't he?